Support for UW360 is provided by the Labor Archives of Washington. Learn more about researching at the Labor Archives and donating collections at laborarchives.org. It's a blustery day at the Port of Everett, and wind claws at the surface of Puget Sound. While a small crowd gathers on the dock, waiting. The Voids today commemorates the 100th anniversary of one of the most significant events in Washington state labor history and Washington history. Finally, a steamer, the Virginia Five, pulls into port fighting wind and wave, its passengers singing labor songs, their voices barely carrying over the water. So in 1916, the Verona, very much like the Virginia today, part of the Mosquito Fleet, uh, pulled into Everett Bay, heading for the dock. The uh, clash between the IWW and the authorities at Everett uh, took the lives of at least seven people, maybe 12, 13. A century ago, the Industrial Workers of the World, or Wobblies, took a boat to support striking shingle workers in Everett. They never made it. Local authorities started shooting them in cold blood before they could even dock. The Everett Massacre, um, you know, embodies, you know, the principles and values that lay behind that, that the workers and the Wobblies uh, uh, carried out, um, you know, are the same values and principles that we need to do today to move our society forward. The shingle weavers, handy and wide. Washington State Labor Council President Jeff Johnson takes today's voyage to honor the lives lost and keep the Wobblies' ideals alive. They knew that when they were beaten back over and over again, that they had a constitutional right to speak their minds and to speak that it was okay to speak truth to power, right? And to, to speak out for decent wages and decent working conditions and for a fair share. Would you have mentions of gold in the sky? The IWW knew how to use a disaster like this to organize. They did everything possible to teach about the Everett Massacre and to create a memory that comes on through us today. There is power, there is power. If you don't remember your history, you're doomed to repeat it. So there's the way in which the radical reputation of Washington State in general has been reproduced, partly because of very uh, highly publicized dramatic moments that have to do with what uh, organized labor has done here. Why Washington is a blue state instead of a red state, that has everything to do with labor history. We're going to fight to make sure that we have gender and pay equity, right? The presence of a very strong labor movement here helps shape the state's identity. And so University of Washington students do have opportunities to learn about labor history. And the Labor Archives now uh, preserves and uh, promotes labor history.